Hi, today we're going to talk about putting you together your percussion kit. Your percussion kit consists of several things. Bells, a drum pad, and things for your stand. So when you have a percussion kit, you might have it in a case kind of like this. You're going to want to unzip your case, put it on a floor, or put it on a table, whichever works best for you, or maybe the bed if you're playing in, in the room. Um, you're going to want to open it up. You're going to notice a big big round piece right here, that's called the practice pad. We'll get to that later in percussion. We're not going to use that right away. We're going to use our bells first. The next thing we need to take out is the most important part, the stand. It holds up our bell kit. In your bag, you're going to have a couple pieces to it. They might all look a little bit different because you might have different kinds of kits. But most of them all have a bottom of a tripod and it has a wing nut on it. You want to loosen up the wing nut of one or two turns and then you want to grab it here where the little feet are so that you don't pinch your fingers over here in the little part where they, they come together. So sometimes you have to pull all three open. Open it up a little ways, about half ways, maybe a little more, so that it makes a triangle, a tripod. And then you want to tighten up the wing nut and you're going to put that piece on the floor. Loosen up this wing nut right here because that will be the next thing we have to do. Back in your case, you're going to have another piece. Yours might look slightly different. Maybe it's just a long piece with a little top on it, but that would also go in here. This one we have to open up the little feet again. So we're going to loosen up our wing nut, pull one foot, two, three, four, and again, try not to go where it's going to pinch me here. Pull that open as far as you can. Sometimes you have to adjust it a little bit. Once you have it all the way open, tighten up the wing nut again. And then you can put this piece inside this one. Making sure we have this part to our right. The small end goes to our right, the big end goes to our left. And I want it about belly button high when I'm done. So this part is just a little bit below your belly button. And then when we take out our bell part, this is our bell set. You have a big end and a small end. The small end goes to your right. Now this part has a circle on it, a little hole, and it's going to fit right onto that little screw right there. Yours might be slightly different. Some you have to put it on and then turn it, and then you're going to tighten up a little wing nut on the bottom up here. Your band director will help you with the different kinds of kits. This one, just take the hole, line it up, then make sure it's set in here nicely on the little feet and it's really sturdy. Now, in, at home, we're going to need a music stand. You need a folding wire music stand. Here I have one like in the band room. So I'm going to have my stand here, and I'm going to turn just a little bit so you can see my hands. And I'm going to have my stand down here, not way up here. I want to be able to see my music and my hands moving at the same time using my peripheral vision, just like if you're playing basketball or something. You can see other things going on around you. Back in my case, I'm going to take out my mallets, okay? When you hold your mallets, you want to make this a fulcrum, just like a teeter-totter. You want to put the stick right between here and this one, and then wrap these three fingers around the end. So when I play it's like this, I want to be able to see my knuckles on the top. Same with my left hand. I just pinch between here, holding my stick so it doesn't fall, and wrap my fingers around and put my hands down like this. I want to practice using my wrists, not my arms. We want to use wrists only as a percussionist. We can go much better this way. This takes too much work. Okay, we want this way. So when I'm playing, I'm going to read my music if I have my music on the stand. And we're going to look this way at our music, but I'm going to be able to play here on my bells. One of the first notes you learn is the note C, which is here on my bells. I can see it because it has the letter C. Some bells might not have that, and your director will help you find which one is C. If you look for the set of two, it's the one to the left. You might have a set of three bells. That's not it. Look for the set of two bells. The one to the left is always C. I'm going to have one mallet above one and one below. Right can be over left or left over right. It doesn't really matter. But right over left, I'm on the same bell, and I can play. I'm looking up at my music and I want to keep using my wrists. 
I can change notes to a D, which would be next. And in your music book, you're going to have different notes that you have to play. So you need to read your music and move your hands without looking down at your hands. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble because we can't read the music like you would read a book. You have to look at the book in order to read it. Here you have to look at your music in order to play it. When you're done with your practicing, you want to put everything away. First I take my mallets so I don't lose them and I put them away. Don't let your little brother or sister or anyone else play with them. Okay? Then you're going to take your keyboard and some of you just lift off, some of you have to turn it sideways to get it off and you notice we again we have a big end and a small end. Notice the case has a bigger end and a smaller end. Make sure you put it in the proper way. It won't fit the other way. And you just put it in your case gently. Close that up. Now we got to take this apart. So I can take the wing nut here, loosen it up one or two turns, push on the little feet opposite. Remember, don't pinch your fingers. Then go to the next wing nut down, loosen it up one or two turns, lift it out, put it back in the case. Sometimes you, it's a little hard getting it in that little pouch there. So you might have to turn it and twist it a little bit. Then you go to the next piece, and again, you're going to take the wing nut, loosen it one or two turns. One should do it. And then you want to push where the feet are, like this, so you don't pinch your fingers up here or in here. Once you've closed that up, you want to put that back in your case also. Sometimes you have to turn it a little bit to get everything just in right in there. Then when you have that done, you're going to want to close up your case. Make sure you zip all the compartments that you've opened. And then some have a handle, just like this. Some on the back will have straps, like a backpack. This one happens to have another kind of handle and some wheels, so I can just drag it behind me, just like a suitcase. Now you've had a great practice session, and you're ready for your next one.